HGTV. Hey Indies, welcome back to my channel. So today I am coming to you guys with another sewing tutorial and this is going to be on the handkerchief tool method. Now you guys, I'm not really sure what this method is called in real life, but this is what it reminds me of. And this technique is very, very simple. Um, however, it can be used for bridal wear and prom, things of that nature. So I'm very excited to be showing you guys how I achieved this bottom. Now, before I get into the video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, my friend Quincy came in to help me cut down this tool. Now, what we're going to be doing is taking a 10 by 10 inch square. This is what we created ourselves, okay? So, this is a 10 by 10 inch square. You would need to decide to create the bottom, the type of bottom that I created. However, the size can be a range of up or down. It can be done in layers, 8 by 8, 10 by 10, 12 by 12, or you can do it all as one size. But the bigger the size, the more tool you're going to use. The smaller the size, the more tool you're going to use to have to fill in the circle, okay? So just kind of keep that in mind. Now, what we're doing is we split the tool in half. We're using a 40-yard tool bolt. Now, this was purchased from the tool shop. Um, this is toolshop.com. All of the products that I use will be linked down below in the description box, okay, you guys? But for this particular bottom, I use four 40 yard tool bolts from the tool shop. So that is 160 yards. Now, the bigger the circle skirt, the more tool that you're gonna use. Now, as you can see, we're getting to the end of this particular 40 yard bolt. It'll be a little bit less than your 10 by 10 square, but you're gonna wanna keep that extra tool because it's going to come in handy um, later on, especially if, you know, you get to the top of your um, circle skirt and you realize you don't have that much tool left. So don't throw the extra tool away. You'll just need to um, gather it up with the rest of it. All right, you guys, so what I'm doing now is taking three to four layers and I am just pinching it in the middle. That's it. So you're just gonna take three to four layers of tool and you're gonna pinch it. The more layers you have, the thicker the tool will be. The less layers you have, um, the more tool you will have to use pretty much. Now what I'm doing is once I pinch it together, um, if you're using a thick tool, you can use two layers and you will get a good thickness. But if you're using a thinner tool that's a little bit more flimsy, you will need about four to five layers in order for it to come out um, the same way that I did it. Once I pinch them together, I just start sewing them together. And what I'm doing is just creating my own trim on the sewing machine. It's really easy. The only thing is, um, it's. I want to say it took me about two hours to do this. So to gather up all the tool bolts, it took me about two hours to gather them all up. Um, once you catch your rhythm, it's pretty. It's pretty easy and it's pretty self-explanatory. But you're gonna need to gather all of the tool. Don't leave no tool <laughs> look ungathered or unpinched. Alright, so I just wanted to show you guys what the tool looked like gathered up. 
And now this is my circle skirt. My circle skirt for this particular gown was pretty wide. And again, the wider the circle skirt, the more you're gonna have to gather. So just kind of keep that in mind because when I tell you it was a beast, like as I started to sew the tool down, I'm not gonna lie y'all, I regretted it. I was like, man, why did I cut this circle skirt this wide? But then as I kept going, I was like, okay girl, you just gotta see this through. So that's what she did, honey. I just saw it through. And now all I'm doing is just sewing right over those little, um, like the little uh, tool places, I guess, where I pinched the fabric together. You just sew over that and you're just gonna sew it down. Now, when you're sewing it down, I started about three inches from the bottom. The reason why I did that is because I'm gonna fully line the inside with uh, another lighter weight fabric. So I just wanted to have enough room to be able to attach it um, from the inside. Um, I would say that um, if your tool is closer together when you're gathering it, if you gathered it close together like mine's is, then you can do them about three to four inches apart. If your tool is not gathered as close as mine and you're gonna need more rolls, then you're gonna need to do yours about two inches apart. So just keep that in mind. So the more tool you have gathered or the thicker your rolls or ropes are, the, um, the less rolls you'll have to do. <laughs> all right so y'all this is day two of me on this bottom and at this point i'm just like ready to go all in I'm like all right let's try this let's try it again now you know the end of the circle skirt is the widest once you get past that part it's easier like it's like oh, okay i love how this is coming out but those first two three rows they were so rough but um once i got through that part it was like oh man i really love how this is this is just coming out amazing and i've done this method about this is my third time and so this is my third time doing it like this is my first time doing it full out now i just want to show you guys the gown that i was working on so this is the bottom to that gown but this is my first time doing this method full out so yes very excited about the process all right so right here i just wanted to show you guys um what the circles look like how i was sewing them down and again like i said i was doing mine about um three to four inches apart and now i'm getting closer to the top and one one of the things that you can do to help to guide you while you're sewing is just get some chalk and you just can um, you know mark do some markings um, you know three to four inches apart and once you put those guidelines on there for you it'll make your sewing the um, bottom really easier because it's really big and it's just like you kind of get lost on the fabric so if you create those markings for yourself with some type of chalk or something it'll be really easy for you to sew all right so right here is um just the gown i wanted to show you guys what it will look like and this is just pant this is not um you know 100 percent complete all right so what i want to show you guys is where i stopped at at the top of the um the train um so you want to leave room for you to be able to attach your dress to the train and then what you'll do is you're going to use the SS tool that you have left over and you'll just tack that onto the top of the train to fill in the gaps of the area that doesn't have the tool on it.
so I'm just going to show you guys how I do that and it's really simple as you can see how fluffy my tool is it was pretty much ready to go so once I place my tool I'll just go ahead and hand sew it now I did not record me hand sewing the tool on here however I just want to show you guys what it would look like now this is pretty much how you do the handkerchief tool method um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as I enjoyed recording it for you it did take a while to record but I'm so glad I finally got it done I hope this is able to um, help somebody this prom season I've been asked how to do this a million times, so I'm glad I was able to record it for you guys. Thank you guys again. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you guys, stay happy, stay hungry, and stay blessed. Until next time.